Hi everyone, my name is Sofia and I am the Swedish ambassador for the Samira Foundation and here is my story. The year was 2007 and I had just returned to school from summer break, 12 years old and excited to start the 7th grade with new classmates and new opportunities. The term started great and I made a lot of new friends and I really had the time of my early teenage life. But just a few weeks in, my right eye started to ache when I moved it around like this. My mother took me to the emergency room where we met a doctor who claimed that I only had a kind of training soreness and that I've been sitting in front of the computer for too long. Both my mother and I thought that this was a bit strange since, since I hadn't been sitting that much by the computer. I wasn't that kind of a computer sitting child, so to speak. So we went to an eye doctor instead and they gave me the diagnosis of cathar in the connective tissue. They gave me some eye drops and sent me home. I was told that the drops would blur my vision for about five minutes. My vision was blurred for almost two days. And then we returned to the eye doctor. And at the hospital, they discovered that in only two days, I had lost almost all of my sight on my right eye. So the hospital decided to fire up a whole new MRI device just to check for a brain tumor or for MS. Since I had neither of them, they immediately sent me to the university hospital in Lund. It's in the south of Sweden. And what I did have was a great inflammation in one of the optic nerves. A few days later, and a lot of corticosteroids later, I got the diagnosis of neurosarcoidosis, and it was decided that prednisone and methotrexate was the best way to treat me. For years, neurosarcoidosis was the working theory, and they tried different immunosuppressives with either no effect or worsened effect even. At one point, when my ordinary eye doctor was on holiday leave, the inflammation became so big that it touched both the bad optic nerve, but also the healthy one. Luckily, despite a really embarrassing screw-up on the eye doctor fi doctor's fill-in part, the inflammation left no sustainable damage on the healthy optic nerve. Thank the heavens! When I got older and moved in order to study at university, I got a new neurologist. And he wasn't convinced that neurosarcoidosis was the right diagnosis. He was the first one to mention NMOSD to me, and we decided to make some changes in my treatment to match the new diagnosis. Agotrituximab, or Mabtera, and suddenly the relapses started to come less and less often. I got the new diagnosis around 2017, and now I only get rituximab once a year. Recently, I've also been able to be without the prednisone pills, uh, and my physical health, as well as my mental health, is now finally improving. Apart from the loss of sight, I have experienced numbness and neuro neurological pain, as well as fatigue that comes in waves. Despite that, I am working full-time as a teacher, and I'm renovating an old house in the Swedish countryside, and I just got married to my wonderful husband, who has been a solid rock to lean on ever since the day we met. To have a supporting family and to have supportive friends has been key to my journey, at least. Without the love and unwavering support I've gotten from them, I wouldn't be the energetic and hopeful person that I am today. Music and da dancing has always been a big part of my life as well. And it is important to be able to continue to do the things that you are passionate about, even though life doesn't always go as you've planned. If life has taught me anything, it is this. There is always a way forward, as long as you have the will to go on. Thank you for listening and take care. Bye-bye.